Hello everyone, I'm going to release a noise texture pack and it's going to contain all the noise textures I've made over the years. Most of them were hand drawn and then added some Photoshop filters and that kind of stuff over them. There are quite a few as you can see on this side as well. These are the noise normals. Noise normals are basically used to distort the UVs of a texture. As you can see, this is what happens when you apply that noise normal to the texture. Uh, there are quite a few examples. I also added some sprites. Uh, let's go quickly to the content browser. This is a good example of what it will look like when you apply some UV distortion noise to the texture. It looks quite cool in my humble opinion. I also added the UV distorted material function so you can play around with that. It's quite an important part of the pack actually. And it comes with quite a few textures. Let me highlight only the textures. There you go. There's 259 textures, though minus one that I use for the preview scene. There's also quite a lot of material instances and materials. So this is all set up to showcase what you can do with them. Let's just pick one. And that applies the noise. And you can quickly change another, to another texture and it will apply a noise. You can also obviously change another noise texture and you'll see the results. I also noticed I just need to fix this line real quickly. And you can also change the distortion amount. So if you go to like a stupid high value, then it will be really distorted. But if you go to a very low value, it will actually show you like a little bit of UV distortion. That can actually look really nice, especially for water textures and that kind of thing. So let's just reset those real quick. Ctrl C, Ctrl C, Ctrl Z. And save again. So there you go. That's my new noise texture pack. Hopefully you'll like it. It's basically designed for VFX, but you can use it for all other stuff as well if you want to. And I added this weird little scene that comes with its own distortion because if it's about noise, then I feel like the scene needs some distortion as well. And it won't hinder your previewing because the, if you get close, it will go away. Okay, I think that's it for this video. Take care.